that morning was 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 unbelievable. Uh, we were working at the township hall. Uh, I was in the uh, Philippines. I was at my first job ever out of high school. I was in my office. We were watching the news. Sixth grade, first period. The instructor came into the classroom and and said, um, there's been a tragedy. And at first, I thought it was a joke. Kind of a hoax. Honestly, I couldn't believe it. Teacher had the TV on and uh, she was crying. I, I just thought it was a trailer for a movie. When it happened, my first reaction is, what? That could never happen. Everybody was confused. What's the reason? What's the cause of why they did this? I wasn't angry. I was more shocked. I was just in awe. In disbelief. And um, it was just, it was just, uh, I, just, I just didn't understand it because I was just young at the time. It was uh, something that I will never, ever, ever forget. We, we on the ship like to think that the uh, 3,000 people that died that day kind of watch after us. Uh, where most of the world thinks about September 11th just once a year, we carry that responsibility forward. If this ship represents something, it's emotion. Because people put emotion on the USS New York. What we have on our bow, I don't think it's a secret to anybody. We have seven and a half tons of World Trade Center steel. That's extremely special to us because it's like taking a piece of uh, such a tragedy that happened and we get to take it back overseas. We will always rise from the ashes and we will always go back and be that deterrence, be forward deployed, show them that we are capable of surmounting any obstacles they try to put in our way.